Hey everybody, it's Super Wolf Ruga. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we got here to Windfall Island and got our sail. <laughs> and in this episode, we are sailing the Great Sea. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I love the music. Oh, just be quiet. Just let's listen to this. Oh, music is so perfect. Oh. <gasps> Barrels! <laughs> um. Oh, it's just so nice to have a decent game to let's Oh, yes, the water's turning like this. Oh, the waves. This is where the waves go really high. And down and up and down. It's just so amazing. I'm sorry if I'm saying that this game is amazing, but you guys know it is. I didn't really talk about it being amazing, uh, Ocarina of Time being that amazing. But, this one is just so big. The game is just that massive. But anyway, let's climb up here. Um, because this is between Dragon Rust and... Windfall, so we want to come up here and oh, some guys up here we can't really do anything about. We can kill them, which is alright. So we don't want them to fall off. Well, I don't want them to fall off anyway. So come here, dude, come here. Come here. Come to me. Come to me. No, I fell. Oh, well, we'll just leave him on because I don't think we're going to be gaining anything off him anyway. Let's get back in our boat and sail. Oh, it's Beetle. And did we get the spoils pouch? Oh, we've only got, like... Yeah, you know what? Beetle, come here. Let's go. I think they spoiled Beetle, Beetle in the... Um, uh, Skyward Sword because of that airship that he had. I mean, that was not good at all. Oh, yes. Alright, let's see what we got. Please let me afford that. Oh, 20 rupees bait bag. We want this. Get the bait bag. Plenty of bait in this convenience satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Um, you know, I really should buy the bait. We saved at one point. We should try to get 30 points so we can earn a silver membership. Oh, yes, we can get some bait. Free savings of bait. All purpose. Animals will be drawn to this gourmet pet food. The moment you put this in down, it will have three portions. Choose your bait on the item screen. Yeah, we know how to do bait. Thank you. Yeah, we'll buy some more bait. All right, we only have one rupee. <laughs> so, um, we're done. Let's go into our boaty. And let's go to... What the hell? Why are we over here? I swear we were just over here. We were. What the hell, Beetle? You don't, you're not supposed to drive the boat while we're in it. Alright. We're, we're nearly at Dragon Roost now. Um, a way to go faster in this is to do this. Is to put it... Is just to keep tapping A and whatever. Like this. Apparently you go faster doing this. I don't really see if you do. I just prefer to do it normally. Just sail like this. I think it's because you get a boost of speed when you bring it out. Like that. But I think it also does slow you down a bit. But anyway, there's Dragon Roost. There on the horizon. That is the destination SWG Dragon Roost Isle. Lind. <laughs> the music here is just like, amazing as well. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and request him in his jewel called Din's Pearl. Um, okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is a bat and sword of what used long ago when the people played music in, the play in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply used it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be some 
used to you, perhaps you could try using it. Okay, let's try this. First, conduct 3-4. Do not touch the control stick, just try to match up the rhythm by tilting up and down and right. Uh, okay, let's do this. Up, down, right. Very nice, that was splendid. Now, four times four. Hold left and change the rhythm. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. And that's it. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct it in six times four by tilting right. You should remember that. Anyway, we got the Wind Waker. By using this magical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Set it to Y, Z, or X and use it to press whatever to button. Conduct for the four times four, six times four. Anyway, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I haven't ended the episode. It's only been six minutes. Gods. I'm not ending the episode here. Anyway, we want to go straight through here and go over to this thing. You really, really need to do this now. Uh, let's get the Wind Waker out. And you want to play this song? Oh, trust me, guys. This is exactly like Zelda's Lullaby. You will never stop hearing this song. <coughs> We learned the wind's requiem. We can now control the wind direction so we can sail anywhere we want. Yep, that's a mighty fan breeze. The name is Zephos. I am the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great for a beginner. You've got a nice wind sense about you. I like it, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, unless it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of a bad thing? Then go. you should see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, cat size my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. <laughs> I love that thing. I don't know why. He's just so cute. But anyway, now that we've got the Winds Requiem, we can now um, sail anywhere freely we want in Hyrule. Well, yeah, this is basically Hyrule now. These are top of mountains that people are living on because the gods flooded in Hyrule um, Kingdom. Like, such as Termina... Well, I don't know if Terminer is part of Hyrule, but it could be. Well, you got Terminer, um, the other one, Hyrule, the original Hyrule from Ocarina of Time. We've got um, Terminer, Hyrule. Yeah, this is just basically the gods flooded Hyrule, so that's what I should really talk about now. Um, to seal away Ganon. I think they flooded the Sacred Realm. Um, the original Hyrule is still here. We'll be getting into it later on in the Oh the bomb come back! We'll be getting we'll get into the um of high we'll get in we'll get into Hyrule later on in the game. Not late, late, late. It, it's about halfway through the game. So we I don't even think we're a quarter way through the not even a quarter of the way through the first part of the game. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's climb along here. And oh, oh, there we go. Right now, let's climb down there carefully. Uh, just drop the bomb there, and those blocks will fall down. Now you can jump off freely. Just pull these. I, it's the R button to pull blocks, not A. Let's climb up here, jump up to here, and we are free to go to this place. Hey, it's that guy again. SWG? Is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay! I must say, you've travelled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she... Is that so? 
Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have, I have an idea, SWG. I would like to meet you. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Ruto are very concerned. I'm, I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lead, lend you into the aid of our era. It's settled then. I'll fly. Go ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, SWG. I'll be waiting. Okay. We are. Seems that this is the. Uh, ugh. Seems that this is the island of the Rutos, which the. Uh, oh no. Are they called Rutos? I don't know. I think one of the people is a Ruto. I don't know. But yeah, we are now in this island. And it seems to be the home to them. So. Let's take a look here. Well, you have discovered the cause of Great Value's anger? Ah, so you are SWG, are you? Quill has told me much about you. I'm troubling tale indeed. Quite. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall, do we shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop of the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito... Oh, the Rito's, not Rito. Are prof oh, Rito's the girl from Ocarina of Time. Oh, oh, connected to the sky, we are living in the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit value. When a Rito reaches adulthood, or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is a skill that enables the Rito, uh, the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Velu- I cannot be bothered. Sadly, we can no longer approach him because he's angry. If, he can, if this continues, the fledglings will, who are of age will, will never be able to receive scales from Velu the uh, Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless in the time our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting SWG with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, SWG is a gallant long, young lad. I feel certain that Kamali will open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me direct my son Kameli as one of the aides to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways, and in the light of current situation, he may not just give up getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem and as quickly as possible, so that we may help we may better help with yours. I have something I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm continuing. I'm counting on you, not continuing on you. <laughs> yes, so you take this with you. Who knows? It might come in handy. We got the mail pouch delivery bag. Finally, crafted bags like this will use Ruto postman everywhere. With so many pockets, it can hold many items. Select it on your sub screen. Yeah, whatever. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great value to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Camille. Awesome, okay. We're sorted with that, so let's go and find uh, Medley up in the top floor. What's up, bro? Um, I believe she's in this room. Yeah, there she is. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're SWG, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm the intendant of the great sky spirit of Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an intendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Uh, oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. SWG, he wants to give you this to directly to Prince Kamali. We got the father's letter. It's the letter from the father addressed to his son. Since you have just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take this out, Choose the delivery bag on the item screen. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, um, yeah, we'll we'll explain later. Let's just go and give this to his son. Uh, Mail bag. There we go. Um, all right. What part are we on? I think we're on part five. So I'm gonna make this an half an hour part, guys, because I can. Let's go over to here. Uh. 
and go over to here. There's Din's pearl that we need. A letter from my father. Oh, sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still got to get the scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost anything. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles and dragon roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. What a faggot. Alright then. Um, oh, my neck. Oh, this is a painful experience. Oh, man, that really hurts. Oh, oh that's better. There we go. Okay. So it seems that that kid has been an asshole. So we're just gonna leave him for now. Um, what have we got down there? Did I miss anything? No. Um. All right. Let's go over to this guy. Let's take a look what he's doing. Um. Yes. Oh, this is fun. Four times right. You have to sort at least ten letters. Give it your best shot. I think I'm really good at these sorting letters things. Twenty-five! Twenty-five letters! Great! Good! Terrific! You pass! Okay, you get one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of 12 rupees, am I right? Come back any time. I mean, if any time, more letters these sorts. I don't think that you get a piece of heart from that. I'm not entirely sure. I hope you don't, because I am not good at that. I only got 25 letters. Um, Let's go out here. This doorway. Come on, let me out! No, I don't want to go out that doorway. I want to go out this one. What am I saying? Right, here we are. Oh, it's an earthquake. Can I not get down here? No. Um, I'm trying to think. I cannot figure out. I think you have to go downstairs, to be honest. Or it could be through this door. I don't know. Ow! Just go through the door. No, because this takes you out here. Um... Are you going to fly? Oh, no. This is where we've got to fly from. Um, okay. Uh, let's go down here. And I believe this is the way out. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. Okay, let's go talk to... Oh, um... Is she down here? Yeah, there she is. Alright, let's take a look. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you into such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plunging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. It may be partially blamed for the bad turn that Kamali has taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was in the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman and was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassing to her de dealings with the Great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd pass possess some of his strength. Come on, Sister BG. I'm sorry to ask, but I need your help. 
I want you to go into the small shrine that near this peak of Dragon Roost. Um, to be honest, I think there is so much talking in this game. I'm gonna face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Alright, you want to pick this bitch up and fly her over to here. In ways you can tell by the the atmospheric wind is by the way Link's hat moves or the bits on the TV screen on the screen. Uh, personally, I like to use Link's hat as it's a lot easier. Like that, if it's not moving, it's going forward. So there we go. Hey, thank you. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant, but I'm. I can understand some of the Great Velu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. We got a bottle. Our first empty bottle. Set it? Yeah, whatever. It's a bottle. So... Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Ah, oh, you stupid bitch. But anyway, let's grab this and take some of the water that is still here from the spring. Try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. <laughs> Alright then, let's go to here. Climb this. No, Link, climb it properly. Yeah, thank you. Um, climb up to the top. Um, go over to here and pour some water on these seeds. And we now have a bomb. Now what you have to do here is throw the bomb. And completely miss like a dumbass I am. It is really difficult to do this. I think it is anyway. You want to throw it. That's a good shot. And the water will come back. Awesome. So now we can go over to where she was. So we can now climb Dragon Roost. But the thing is, this is our first temple. <sighs> the first one out of five. So, let's throw the bombs in here. Throw one into there. Oh god. Oh god! Ah, oh, my ass! Well, that was the world's biggest fail. Oh my god, why does it spawn me back here? Um. I'm not entirely sure if the temples have heart containers or pieces in them. I hope they don't. Because I don't want to. Well, I'm going to be getting, trying to get every treasure chest anyway. But here. It's, it's a bit weird I have to throw this bomb in. You have to throw it from, like, here. But anyway, we got it in. That's what she said. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we are going to be going into the dungeon. Well, we're going to be going in there now, but you guys are not going to see the entrance. Haha, <laughs> see you guys then.